First. I don't make the donuts here. I saw one of your videos and then <laughs> well, when you were like we're opening it, you like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> It scares me. This is what he was talking about. <laughs> it's literally a mini version. <laughs> um, what kind of donut do you want? The one I didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, you want the one that you didn't like. Go over to the left. Are you in right now? So, um, I got my crew necks. They're not all of them. There's still four more boxes in my, you know, garage, but they don't fit in here. This makes me nervous. This makes me nervous. You see how dirty that, that, that box is? Do you see how dirty that box is? And it's on my white seats? Because my mom couldn't get this seat down for some reason. Oh, that makes me nervous. Hello, hello. Good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. So, uh, like I said, these boxes are making me nervous. Specifically the one that's on my white seats. And I know, Bruno, why do you get white seats if you're so, like, worried about it? You know, I'm not, I'm not a dirty person, so, like, there's nothing, like, super messy happening in my car. But that, that makes me nervous. Because if I was awake when they, so I slept in, till like 11 today. If I was awake, I would have tried to get the seat down, but apparently the UPS driver was delivering it. My mom went out and was like, do you need help? And then my mom was like, can we just like put them right in the car? And that is why uh, there's a ton of boxes of crew necks in my car. And I still have four left that are in my driveway. I mean, that are in my garage. So as for right now, I am on my way to get Duncan, even though it's like noon. Now, it's Friday, it's fine. As you saw, Eli was at my house and he's still at my house. So I'm gonna get him a donut and then get my parents some donut holes. I got like a croissant thing, I was feeling like it. And then go drop that off and I have to drop some things off at the post office and then the other post office. Then just head to the studio and um, tomorrow at noon is whenever I'm like releasing them. I guess you could say. So at like 7.30 or so, I have to go to my brother's because I'm sleeping over his house because they're away for the day and tomorrow, I think. So either way, and they have two dogs, so I'm gonna dog sit and house sit for like the night and just stay there. I'm gonna order my transfers today. I was having some complications with them last night, so um, I think I have to physically actually have to call the company and be like why can't I not order because it was there was some weird things that I was like it wasn't letting me order it I don't know pretty chill day you're hope you're having a good day I'm still on my way to Duncan I'm gonna go goodbye let's go get some donuts I am starving very happy that I got like a croissant thing and those hash browns their hash browns are so good they're mm, so good so let's go get some donuts okay bye <laughs> I got the goods. Let's go home. All right, so I just dropped off the donuts and just chilled out for a little bit. And then now I am on to, I'm at the, it's like called the corner store or whatever. It's um, kind of like a FedEx, but not a FedEx. But so I have to drop off these two very, very large, well, this one specifically, wholesale orders. And whenever a wholesale order is past a certain amount of money, I like to use FedEx because I do not want that many products being lost in USPS, so. But then obviously like I have smaller ones that I'm going to drop off actually at the post office. So I'm gonna go drop these off, then drop stuff off at the post office and then head to the studio. Late, late start to the day, but I was up till three o'clock in the morning, so it's fine. So, and I'll be right back. All right, one, two, and three. Okay, we're good. Um, I'm very nervous because this box says ash gray and I bought black. Ooh. See, look, this is black, but that says ash gray. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, these are black. That's good. Very nervous. All right, so I guess the cat's out of the bag. Um, I'm doing black. 
<laughs> dang black sweatshirts. Well, crewnecks. Okay, that's good. These are black as well. I'm just really nervous that this one, this one right there, is gray. See, okay, that's what that's what scared me. Okay. I think we're fine. See how right here it says ash gray? And so I was really worried that it was gray, but no, they're black. Okay, we're fine. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six boxes. Somehow, there are four more at home, like B says. We got 200 crewnecks, 200 black crewnecks, and I am so excited. You have no idea, you have no idea. That's crazy, that's crazy. I'm starting my crew neck. Actually right now I need to figure out the heat transfers from Transfer Express. Definitely need to do that right now. So hopefully I can get those very quickly, like next week. Cause then I'll have very few days to make all of these and ready for my birthday. So it's fine, we're fine. It's all good, we're good, I'm excited. Hope you're having a good day. I'm gonna get started on the heat transfers. Trying to figure that out. And then I think today I'm going to teach you, well, I'm gonna do it and I might as well just teach you too in case you're wondering how to do it. I'm going to show you how to prep your photos. Like if you're if you're selling stickers, instead of taking photos of your stickers, I'm gonna show you how to, you know, do the white outline and the shading and whatnot behind it so it looks 3D, so it looks like you took a photo of it, if that makes sense. Because I used to take photos of every single one of my stickers and I'm just like, I can't do that anymore sorry but I rather just do it all digital and then upload it so it's super simple like right now like for instance the ones I'm gonna show you how to do um, I'm gonna you know use my new animals as an, as an example because the thing is I could put them on my website before I even have them like physically in my hand so that means I can do like pre-orders and whatnot so I'm excited for that so I will kind of explain so I guess that's today's vlog because that's pretty much the only thing I'm doing other than like other busy work so I'm gonna teach you how to, I don't even know what it's called, but I'm gonna teach you how to do it, <laughs> if that makes sense. I'm sure by the time I upload this, I will make sense of what I'm titling this video or like how to listings with your stickers. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see where the day takes me, but that's what I'm doing today. Hope you stick around, hope you learn something, and I hope you have a good day. So let's get to work. Heat transfer. I'm on hold. This year, we're dedicated to making it easier to do business. We look forward to serving you in 2021. Uh, never mind. I figured it out. I'm dumb. I just ordered them. Ah! I just ordered them. I'm gonna get them so soon. Oh my gosh. I just ordered them. Ah! I'm so excited. I'm not gonna show you the design until I get it and make one. But holy moly. I'm so glad I finished that. That was so like stressful. That wasn't stressful, but like it was stressful, but I cannot, I cannot wait to start these. I cannot wait. Okay, so that's done. And the next thing is I'm going to make all of my stickers, like the, I'm gonna make all of the sticker listing photos, I guess, for my stickers. And let me show you how I do that. Super, super simple, but people always ask me and I, like with TikTok and Instagram, it's kind of hard to put everything in like a one minute video. So I'm excited to actually explain how to do this. So, yay. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try to make this not super wordy, but it's probably gonna be wordy. So just, you know, go along with me. So you're gonna wanna open up the app Procreate, which I don't know if you have to pay for it or not, but if you do, it's definitely worth it. What you're gonna wanna do is open up a, the square canvas, because personally I like to make all of my listings square because that is what you can see on the website, if that makes sense. So open up a square canvas. So then next, personally what I did was I took a photo of colored paper. So then it has, let's do this color. So it has kind of like that grainy, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but it has that grainy real life as if this is a is a piece of paper that I took a photo of, cause it is. So I make sure I have all different colors and then I try to match it to the, the colors of the stickers to complement it. So that's all you gotta do for that. And, and then this right here is on one layer. So then what you're gonna wanna do is add a layer. So that is layer two. And then insert, let's do the narwhal. So you wanna insert your image and then up here, this little, this little squiggly line, click that, and then come down to here where it says automatic, 
and then click here and then it'll turn black. So then you use three fingers and you swipe down and then this will come up and then you want to say cut and then it gets rid of the background. But as you can see, like it's kind of hard to see right here, there's still a little bit of line. So I always like to make sure that I erase that just in case it looks fine, but it does not look like it is popping off the page as if I took a photo of an actual sticker. What you want to do next is add another layer and bring that layer underneath. So now it looks like this. And what you're going to want to do is go to the brush. And personally, I like using the airbrush of the hard airbrush. That's the one that I always use. And then make sure it is white, white. And then I know a lot of people do this a little bit differently with outlining their stickers or anything, but personally, I like to just draw the outline. So you wanna do, I'd say like 30% size of the brush, I guess. And then you just wanna draw underneath and make sure you, cause I know for a fact that this is usually the amount of white space around my stickers. So what you wanna do is just you know, just slowly outline, take your time. I'm sure there's easier ways, but this is just the way that I personally do it. And then you bring it down like this, bring it around, boom, boom. All right, so now it is completely outlined, but see how it's very, it's like filling up the entire space. So now go to your layers, click layer two or the layer of your image click that and then click merge down. So now these are all one and then click the little mouse button. Then that way you can like move it around together. Personally, I like to make them a little bit smaller in the middle of my background and then that's it. But look, it, look, it looks fine. But the thing is, it needs to pop off the page. So what you gotta do is make sure this layer is highlighted and selected and then you do down three and then you click duplicate. Now you have two up here. So then what you're gonna wanna do is the top one, this kinda gets a little, this is how I do it. So just bear with me. There might be an easier way, but this is how I do it. So you click the top image layer and then you click alpha lock. So anything you draw on this layer will then only go on the image instead of doing like free for all, if that makes sense. And then what you wanna do is click the paintbrush and it's always, it's the hard airbrush. And then you're gonna wanna drag it all the way down to be black, black, and then bring up this as big as you can. And then you just color it in. This is what the alpha lock does. It allows to just color in the image that you want. So then you go to that layer again and you un alpha lock it. So now it's like a free for all. What you wanna do is press hold and bring it down. So now it's underneath. And then <laughs> make sure that this, is the, the black silhouette image is highlighted. And then you wanna go up here where it has the little mouse. Personally, I like to move it down to the left corner, but that's just me. So you bring it down a little bit enough that like it's, you know, you can you can see it, if that makes sense. So like, see how you can see it? But look, it may look like it's popping off now, but wait, just wait. And then what you're gonna do on the same silhouette layer, you're gonna go over to this like magic wand and then go to, I think it's called Gaussian Blur or, yeah, I think it's called Gaussian Blur. So you click that and then um, just say layer. And then now you click somewhere around here and then you bring it all the way up and see how it went from that to that. Okay, hold on, let me, let me zoom in. So do the same thing. Okay, so see how crisp the black line is? But now whenever you Gaussian blur, it blurs it and then it makes it look like it's a shadow. And then usually I go, I usually go about like 9% Gaussian blur, as you can see, 9% right there. And then you just click the wand again, and then you're done. That's it. What I like to do is then merge the two image layers together. So just click the top layer and say merge down. And now it's one big one, so you can change the size and like say I want to do this. So like, you know, it fits better in, yeah, I kind of like that better. So it fits better. So then you can make it as big as you want, but I like to make it um, start small and then make it big at the end. And that's it. Now it like looks like it's popping off the screen as if, oh no, as if you took a photo of it. So now I have to do that 
26 more times. <laughs> so yeah, this was, I, I mean, this is how I personally do it. I know there's probably many, many different ways to do it, but this is just how I do it. So I hope it was helpful. I hope, you know, if you have any questions, just let me know and down in the comments. But as of now, I'm gonna go do this 27 times. Well, I guess since this, I already did this one. So 26 more times I have to do this. Usually it, it doesn't take as long because I'm not talking, but I'm just gonna do a time lapse. So enjoy. <laughs> Look at them, they're so stinking cute. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to upload them onto my website and then not have them like live or anything. So I'm gonna save them as drafts so then I can just make them all live at noon tomorrow. But as of right now, while you're watching this, they are live on my website and you can get them all as waterproof stickers and soon to be sticker sheets and also prints and stuff like that. But I am obsessed with how, I think they're so stinking cute. Usually I don't like hype up things that I do very much. I mean like yes the murals and stuff like that but like sticker wise but like this whole collection I love it and also I will be adding more animals it's just right now these are all the ones that I have so very very excited so cute I love them and I hope you guys love them too so the link is in my description to get these right now oh I just took my hair out of like a ponytail and I just went like that so just <laughs> ignore what my hair looks like I just look like I just got out of bed which I didn't so it is currently 7 p.m. And like I said earlier, I'm going over to my brother's tonight and staying there. So the dogs usually get fed around like 7.30. So I'm gonna head over there now, feed the dogs, and then just kind of stay there for the rest of the night and then obviously sleep over. But I'm not gonna like end the vlog right now or anything like that, even though pretty much the vlog, the main part of the vlog is over. But if you wanna stay, stay. If you don't, I'll see you tomorrow. Now I'm going to pack up my stuff and head to my brother's and introduce you to the pups, Cooper and Sadie. They are, they're both golden doodles, but Cooper is like a golden color, but Sadie's a black golden doodle, if that makes sense. I don't know the proper breed, but they're both, I don't know if she's like lab doodle, lab or no. They're both golden doodles. She's just black and he's golden. So um, they're huge, especially Cooper, ginormous. <laughs> Thinks he's like this big. Same with Sandy. I love them so much though. So uh, I'm gonna head over there and then pretty much the rest of the night, I'm just going to work on editing some videos and uploading these stickers because I ordered them, but I now need to upload them on my website, which will take a little bit of time. So I might as well just do that at my brother's. And um, hopefully by the time I'm done with that, after that, I'm gonna watch the Billie Eilish documentary and I'm so excited. You have no idea, you have no idea. I'm so excited. I am. So, I love Billie Eilish, love her to death. I cannot wait. I've been waiting for this documentary. I know it came out last night, but I wanted to wait until like, you know, he has a giant TV. I just want to sit and just, you know, make some popcorn and watch your documentary and probably cry. Uh, yeah, this is the rest of my night. Crazy Friday night. <laughs> I cannot wait for this pandemic to be over so I can hang out with my friends. <laughs> like more than just Donna. Love on a death. But I just miss like all of us hanging out. But soon, hopefully. Um, as of now, I'm going to pack up and head over to my brother's. So I will see you at my brother's after I get situated because <laughs> as soon as you walk in, the dogs are like, hello, hello, hello. So cool. Okay, let's go to my brother's. All right, we're back for my brother's. Dogs are eating. Sadie's eating, Cooper's eating. I took them out already. They can eat some dinner. And then we're just gonna hang out the rest of the night. They're super thirsty, I guess. <laughs> Look at them, they're so cute. Okay, we'll check in when there's something interesting to check in about. Hi, hello. 
So I'm currently just sitting here trying to upload all of the animal stickers and then these are, these are the names that my mom and Eli came up with. So trying to get that done, watching a good movie. It's called The Map of Tiny Perfect Things on Amazon Prime and it's so good. I mean, I'm not done with it, but like it's very good. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to work. <laughs> Hi Cooper. The pups are tired. Look at Sadie. So here's the, here's the deal. I personally don't know how to work my brother's TV uh, because I have to watch the, the, uh, the Billie Eilish on Apple TV and I don't know if he has Apple TV, but then my dad was like, you can try it with the Chromecast. I don't know how to work it. So therefore, I don't want to watch the Billie Eilish documentary on my laptop. I'd rather watch it on like an actual TV. So I'm just going to wait until tomorrow night to watch it at the studio, which is fine. I just don't want to have to watch it on my laptop. I'd rather watch it like on a big screen. So um, I did end up getting my vlog done and it's exporting now. Then I have to upload it and then I'm just going to go to bed. It's only 11 o'clock. What is this? I mean, knowing me, I'll probably stay up until like one, but that's fine. Um, I guess I'll just say goodbye now because there's nothing else exciting happening. So thank you for watching. Sorry if today was a little bleh, but no, no, today, today's video was good because I actually like taught you guys something, not just me living my life. <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you guys learned something with how to make your stickers for your you know, online shop, how to make the sticker listing photo. I don't know exactly what I'm calling it, but that's what I'm calling it now. Um, if you have any more questions about, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hold you now. I look great. I don't know what I was saying before I saved my camera from breaking completely on marble fireplace. So, okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Hope you have a good day. I will see you tomorrow. Hope you come back and the pups say goodbye. They're super tired, they're like, let's go to bed.